This one is called Apothecary Diaries Manga Artist Suspended and Faces Prison. Will season two be canceled from Chibi? Give it to me. The Apothecary Diaries Manga Artist sentenced yeah. to prison for malicious tax evasion. Mal Yikes. This malicious tax evasion implies that there is wholesome tax evasion <laughs> what does that mean i i think it's as simple as like there was full intent to evade the taxes doing illegal methods compared to someone that may have not been aware or was a little bit ignorant of it and was oblivious i'm not sure but yeah it's a malicious one not a wholesome one this is by uh dexter as you can see here and if you do a quick google search you'll see yo is that s death yo 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 is this Esdeath behind? It, it, we're watching a comic got kill on Patreon right now. That's Esdeath, right? Oh my god. This is by uh, Dexter, as you can see here. And if you do a quick Google search, you'll see everybody is currently yeah. talking about this. A bunch of different news. I've heard this news before, but now I think it's like... I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe it was just like rumors that there was like allegations before, but now it's just been condemned. Sites and stuff are covering this. It's definitely the talk of the town. If you go to r slash anime, for some reason the post was removed by the moderators. Don't know why. Classic Reddit mods. Maybe there was something malicious going on here, but it is strange since technically this is ongoing news that came out today that basically talks about the manga artist being sentenced to prison and facing jail time, etc, etc. So, kind of strange. But anyways, getting into the article, let's, uh, let's dive into this and see exactly right. what happened. So, Arika Ikada, an artist on the Apothecary Diaries manga, has manga. been sentenced to 10 months in prison for massive tax evasion. Now, you know what? Hot take. Hot take. But I think that this is not that bad of a news because it, it, she could have been a pedophile. Like, how many mangakas, bro, their works, it's like, oh, it's so amazing, it's so amazing, that it's like, yeah, they have some CP, and it's just like, why, bro? Why, bro? Come on, man. But at least this time it's tax evasion, so it's like, it's not that bad, right? What is with, like, manga offers and, like, companies, etc. in Japan always getting caught for tax evasion? Like, I mean, I don't think it's specific to mangas, right? This industry. I think that any corporation, if you fucking audit them, they're always going to figure out a way to do min-max. Like, fuck, fucking Amazon, for example, right? The whole logic of why Amazon has little to no tax is because they have, like, a separate entity of base of operations set up in, like, I think Ireland? Or, or some shit? And due to the laws there, you can pretty much report like zero income due to, by manipulating numbers and doing a whole shitload of deductions and stuff like that. And they can avoid taxes. It's not very specific to mangas, but anybody, right? I mean, me as well. Me being like a content creator now, like now that like I'm actually like trying to do this shit full time, my next tax season coming up in February or March, I'm going to have to find an accountant and do all the math to figure out all the deductions. Like, for example, the rent I pay in my apartment, this shit's like, what, $16, like, what, around, like, $16 to $1,700 per month? I can write that shit off because, like, I record all the stuff in here. This is pretty much a studio, right? The fucking, like, if I buy mic equipment or this chair, right? These are all deductions, right? Business expenses from the overall revenue. So that rather than, let's say you made 100 k that year from, like, a self-employed like, job, right? And that 100k, and let's say, let's come up with an arbitrary number of uh, percentages for tax of, let's say, fucking, I don't know, 10%. Uh, let's just say 10%, you need to pay 10% of 100k. That's $10,000 that has to go pay through tax, right? It's probably going to be a higher number than that. But if you were to deduct a shitload of money from that revenue of 100k, let's say editor fees, rent, utilities, everything that goes into content creation, suddenly that 100k revenue gets deducted and gets turned into, let's say, maybe even... Fucking 10,000, right? And now the 10% of 10,000 is $1,000. You see how the, you know, the math works out? Anyways. It was Studio Fotable. I believe the Log Horizon a light novel offer got, you know, noticed for tax evasion. And then you got Apothecary Diaries now. It's just like, what is with that? That is such a common thing. It's a common It's people just want to make more money, right? How many times do you guys see your fucking paycheck and you see the amount deducted and you're like, this is fucked up? I remember. Working my first job ever. Well, my first job ever was a paper boy, but I didn't get the like the actual like the, the, the fucking paychecks and all the deduction stuff. Right? I just I got paid in cash. But like McDonald's, I remember getting my first paycheck ever, and it came to like I don't know like eight hundred dollars Canadian or something back in the day. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so much money. And then I saw the amount deducted, and I'm like, I should have made actually like twelve hundred or something. And I'm like, 
The fuck? Where's my money going? Well, it's taxes, right? People get taxed so that tax revenue can be collected by the government so that hopefully they can try to use that money to uplift you know their community and build better roads and you know social support and stuff like that but a lot of people get upset so they think that their money's being wasted so they you know fucking avoid taxes by trying to save money common theme within japan i'm just like why does this keep happening especially like in the anime and manga community it's just money. like why but anyways money. let's continue reading the apothecary diaries is a historical drama manga written by natsu hyuga and illustrated by neko kuragi debuting in 2017 it got a massive boost in popularity when it got an anime series in 2023 the anime show also contributed to the rising cells of the manga, however the series is currently facing some controversy due to legal issues. On July 24th, the Fukuda District Court found er uh, Erika Ikeda, who goes by the pen name Neko Kuragi, okay. guilty of evading around 47 million yen in tax. Goddamn! Let's see how much that is in USD. 47 million yen to USD is... 300! Thousand six hundred thirteen ninety dollars three hundred six thousand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you told me that there was a way to manipulate the numbers and save three hundred k from taxes, bitch, I might. Fuck it. How much time do I have to serve in prison? Do I have to pay this money back? If I got to keep this money and serve time in prison, fuck it. Think about this. You make three hundred k, she goes to jail for a year. Motherfucker, that's a 300 annual K salary job. I'm gonna spend one year in prison if you're gonna give me 300K. Fuck it, I'll do it. The court sentenced the illustrator to 10 months in prison with yeah. a three year suspension and 11 yen fine for violating the Income Tax Act. Only 11 mil? Like, why aren't they taking the 47 mil back? How, like, that's what I don't get. Like, you only get fined 11 mil? So they keep the 36 exactly? What the fuck? That's, that's still worth. So I have some numbers already pulled up here. So this is what 47 million yen converts to to USD. $305,000. God damn. That is just how much taxes they evaded, not including the fine, which is 11 million USD, $71,000. God damn. So yeah, um, yiker, yikers, it's a... Uh, not good. <laughs> Yikers. It's not good for the smugglers. They are yeah. paying a hefty, hefty fine. But anyway. But like relative to the amount that they fucking saved through tax evasion, I feel like this fine is like a, it's, it is significant, but damn, you know? Is getting into it though. Um, the ruling is reported by Live Door states Ikeda earned approximately 260 million yen in three years Holy from 2019 shit. to 2021. Now, this is a big point that I want to point out here is that this is not counting the boost in sales from the anime that aired as of late. So you know they made probably a lot more money since then. Also, this is not even counting 2022 and all of 2023. So yeah, that is something also to consider. This is just literally counting 2019 to 2021, which they made 260 million yen yen aka putting this up here you All know right. i will show you the cross comparison um they made about oh. uh two uh 260 million yen uh one million wait is that real wait 1.7 mil 1.7 1.7 bro holy crap that is that's actually insane i mean you know it's not like apothecary diaries is a random ass show right like i hear the light novel rankings it's really really high Right? This series is not a small show. It's, it's, a, it's a big title. It's a big boy, right? In this industry. So 1.7 mil over those years, while it may seem like a lot of money, but I think that makes sense. Maybe they should make even more money relative to the competition because of how dominant they have been. One point, almost seven million dollars. That is a lot. Just in those few years alone. That is... I mean, I guess a little bit of tax evasion probably doesn't hurt them in the grand scheme of things <laughs> because obviously... They could probably easily pay that back. Yeah. That's my assumption. It could be wrong. I don't know how the tax bracket is in Japan, but my goodness, that is a lot of money they made off of the series. That that really blows me away. Anyways, um, let's continue reading. According to Judge Yuko Takeda, Ikeda had committed large amounts of tax evasion over several years, which is extremely malicious. The judge further stated that while the Apothecary Diaries became more popular and started earning more money, they prioritized their work and personal life and committed tax evasion. I mean, 
You know, yes, it's illegal, but like, I don't think it's too crazy to assume like why they wanted to do it. Like personal greed and, you know, trying to like, you know, make more money by not paying taxes. I think this is a common thing that a lot of people honestly would do. Yeah. Until now, Ikeda has been an active manga artist for years now. Before the Apothecary Diaries, they published another historical comedy manga, Sho Shoku uh, K Danshi, for which they acted as both the author and illustrator. With a three-year suspension... <laughs> what is this title over here? Related. One Piece and Jujutsu Kaisen leakers arrested as police reveal stolen haul? Like, physical copies of, like, pre-released manga chapters? <laughs> There's leakers? <laughs> Pirates? Okay. Not to mention the jail time. The Apothecary Diaries would possibly get another artist for the manga, especially since it's having such a good time overall after the successful first season and a second season has been mm -hmm. confirmed for 2025. Guys, can we please vote in Apothecary Diaries Season 1? It, it would be such a waste not to be able to cover such a hyped ass show. I tried Episode 1 and 2. My audience just wasn't really there. But our channel has grown significantly ever since then. I hope that we can fucking cover this by you know, Season 2, man. So let's get headfirst into this and let's talk about what this article kind of covers, what it kind of didn't cover, etc, etc. And yeah, so will this have an effect on the anime? Probably. In regards to the success, no, right? In regards to the operations and whether or not they have enough adaptation, I have no clue. But if you're going to ask me, do you think that Apothecary Diaries is suddenly going to tank in viewership because the mangaka tax evaded? No, hell no. The small fringe, you know, mentally ill, terminally online people that knows about this shit like us, we don't really even care about it. But, like, the vast majority of normies watching this anime, they definitely don't give a fuck about it. Now, if this was a different cause, like fucking pedophilia, you know, a manga could cause... Like, what was that manga? Act Age. I think there was a series called Act Age, which is similar to Oshinoku in terms of handling, you know, theater and acting and stuff like that. I remember when that was in the peak of its, you know, uh, glory in the, in the manga subreddit. And I also remember when it all came falling down because of the allegations, right? It makes a lot of sense. In fact, a lot of people even say tax evasion is based, right? The, a lot of people, I, I see tweets and saying, hell yeah, tax evasion, fuck you. We're going to support these people even more. Whether or not tax evasion is good or not, like, I'll leave that up to you. But this news is not going to impact the anime sales or the anime viewership. Probably not. I don't think that this will really affect season two of Apothecary Diaries by any means. At the most that this is going to affect anything, it's going to have the manga artist for Apothecary Diaries replaced. They yeah. are potentially going to get Maybe. replaced. Now, it's a possibility they won't. But that is my educated guess. The worst that potentially could happen, I, I- Also, it was act age, right? Hold up. If I'm like saying this shit and it actually wasn't, hold up, hold up. Act age mangaka controversy. Please, am I right? Am I right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Matsuki, um, I don't know who Matsuki, the mangaka, I guess, was, um, was arrested for allegedly approaching an inappropriately- Sorry, Matsuki was arrested and allegedly approached the inappropriately touching two female middle school students in the June of the same year. So I wasn't capping. I, I was right. I, I just remember a similar news like that. and I'm like, shit, is this the right one? Yes, it was. Rurouni Kenshin was another one, too, where a lot of people are turning a blind eye. Made in Abyss as well. I know. <laughs> Listen, I love Made in Abyss, but like you've seen some of the sus ass shit that they've done with the kids in that show. And the depiction of gore and children. And I hear that the mangaka even has like a torso of like an imaginary like middle school girl, anime girl in his room. I remember reading some kind of article related to that. Like, it's not a good look. It for sure is not a good look. I, oh, I guess the worst that could happen technically with the information we have is that the manga version gets canceled or goes on a very indefinite long hiatus. That is a possibility. But I think most likely the artist will be replaced. If not replaced, they'll just, you know, be under a lot of suspicion, whatever. But uh, the point is, is that this is not going to really have much of an effect on the anime. And those Hell that no. are worried yep. if this is the original source, this is not. The Apothecary Diaries actually comes from a light novel. So... Yep. FYI, it was the light novel first, and then the manga adaptation, and then the anime adaptation. So, FYI, you know, the manga has no effect on the anime, it has no effect on the light novel. Cool. So, just, the only thing this really does is necessarily smudge the name of Apothecary Diaries. It's just a bad image overall, bad PR, so to speak.
it may seem like bad PR, but I think a lot of people, especially young kids, think that tax evasion is based for whatever reason. So, in fact, like, this viral news, like, it may just, you know, increase the sales. But that's... That's about it. It, it. it doesn't do anything to the original source whatsoever. For those concerned, Apothecary Diaries isn't finished. It's not going to be completely cancelled, etc. So, do not worry about that. And it's very clear as day, just judging by the revenue just from 2019 to 2021 alone, yeah, what this article talks mil. about. The series is making a vast amount of money. This is not even including the increase in revenue and value that the series got thanks to 2023 and now 2024. So when you factor all of these things in, yep. yeah, it would be insane for this series to be canceled because the money that can be made here is astronomically high. But um, overall, let's talk about the suspension for a second. So from my understanding, I'm not a, a Japanese citizen. I don't know Japanese law to the full extent, so I'm not going to act like I do. I'm not going to be someone that's like, I know how it is, etc. But from what I can gather from today, from multiple posts, from Reddit, etc. here as well, apparently the three-year suspension is not them being suspended as an artist, but more or less them suspended... And they are under, like, uh, you know, probation. Basically, okay. if they commit the same acts or any felonies or criminal acts... So it's a slap on the wrist. It's just a warning. Don't do it again. If you do, something bad will happen. You got a three-year warning. Acts within those three years, they will face jail time. But if they stay on, you know, good terms, etc., once the three years are up, they'll be completely fine. They do not need to serve jail time. They just need to pay their fee, like they're fined, etc., and just serve their three-year suspension, and that's about it. I don't believe this means that they are stopped from being a manga offered. This just means that they gotta stay good. This is like probation, from my understanding. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If I am wrong, correct me in know. the comments below. Please <laughs> do know. so. But, uh... That is my understanding for what I can gather today about this whole subject matter, but it's still bad news overall. It's just like, man, <laughs> I don't know how this keeps happening, man. And it's I not do. Uh, tax evasion drama. It's always the uh, PDF file accusation. Exactly, right? And I'm glad that this instance, it's not the PDF file one, okay? I much prefer tax evasion drama than PDF file ones. And stuff. Like, what is with 2024, man, with this type of stuff that's continuously happening? Every other day, we're either having something with tax evasion to PDF accusations. It's just like, dude, what is this year, man? Oh. But come on, Chibi. You and I both know that more of this shit happens, the more videos that you can make than the videos that I can farm. And y'all know what to do. Please go over to Chibi's channel. Give him a like and sub to his channel if you haven't. Pretty funny. Honestly, tax evasion, it is a serious crime, but it's also not as serious as PDF file, you know, stuff like that. People are just going to think that it's a base. The sales aren't going to fucking be impacted by this. The only thing I'm worried about is, please, can we watch Apothecary Diaries in this channel before season two airs? Someone fucking vote that shit in before 2025, please.